because y'all y'all know i love doing youtube like i love y'all i love when y'all ask me questions i love when y'all leave comments i love when y'all thumbs up the video so don't stop thumbs up the video y'all we almost at 3k day one day one trying to spend the rest of my life with the same one same one So I definitely want to get to 3K before the end of the summer, before we all go back to school, because I know a lot of y'all in school, just like myself. Let's get <laughs> my life as hearing us at 3K. But anyway, so Nisi asked another good question. I'm sorry if it's not pronounced Nisi. That just that looks like how it's. It looks better. Like, I don't know. She said, "What would you have done differently in my single, in my single season?" So, what would I have done differently? I think. Well, no, I don't think I would have appreciated my singleness a lot sooner. That's the only thing I feel like. And not saying I don't love my relationship. No, I absolutely love y'all. This man, this man, okay. No, that's not what I mean. But what I mean is just traveling, like really embracing that, you know, single life. And that was my plan for 2020 was to just embrace it more and I did I mean regardless of like COVID I still embraced it I still you know me and Bailey still took you know a couple of trips we went to Dallas a couple of times we um we went to Florida before the lockdown um you know we did things but I wish I had done that sooner i wish i hadn't just been so stagnant and be like oh when i get in a relationship when i get in a relationship like those were all things i could have done back in 2018 2017 right after i left bailey's dad in 2016 like all those things that i could have done after my divorce instead of getting in a toxic situationship in 2017 and it not ending to 2018 um so i feel like that's really my only drawback the fact that i didn't embrace it um sooner that i kind of lollygagged on you know really getting in that intentional relationship with god back then and honestly god's timing is so perfect and just having my life now like never get it twisted your life is your life like intentionally embrace it you have no one else's life but the one god gave you for an absolute reason so stop sitting there saying i want to be like so and so and i want to be like so and so be whoever you are be you once i started to be tearing and embrace tearing everything started to come full circle when i wanted to be more like jesus and less like i can't think of somebody right now um so i'm just gonna throw a name out there uh <laughs> beyonce i don't know i would never want to be like beyonce but still um i'm just throwing a name out there once i stopped doing that in the comparison like i don't know if you guys noticed like i was very inactive on all my other social media platforms prior to the pandemic like i rarely ever got on social media because the comparison like it was just so much comparison and it made me just feel lesser than like oh my god you're a single mom so there must be something wrong with you and now i'm 26 and i'm like no there's something wrong with him <laughs> he's the problem <laughs> he can't get it together y'all that's a whole nother story but 
I feel like once I started to do that and just work on me, everything came together, you know, everything, literally everything. So Jesus is such an important factor in that. And I don't want that ever to be mistaken that it was just all me. I did the work. No, <laughs> Jesus did the work inside of me. I had the Holy Spirit that helped me walk through certain things. And of course, like mentors, um, I did do some programs, uh, coaching, stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of like a new season of my life. I'm kind of like balancing um, work, YouTube, being a fiance now, being a mom, being in school, like it's kind of like a balancing act. Like I got all these hits and then, you know, being still in a relationship with God, like it's this huge balancing act. I need a schedule. <laughs> I need sleep, okay? Just in order to be all of this person. And you know, I feel like one thing we tend to do is think we can only do one thing and focus our mind on one thing when we have all these other people in our lives. We can't just focus on one thing. It can't just be one thing, one person, that's it. Oh, I'm married now, so that means I don't spend any time with God. No, sis, that means you need to wake up earlier. Oh, I got all these kids, that means I can't spend time with God. No, that means you need to either wake up earlier, go to sleep later. It's like a balancing act. And I hope that kind of makes sense for somebody. Like, I know I got some married women. Um, leave it down in the comments below on, like, how you manage because this is literally, like, a new transitioning you know, for me, because I don't know what it's like to be a mom. I didn't really get to be a wife, which I'm not sure because that situation is, ugh. and I have this new opportunity. Like when it says God, when God said he restores things, baby, he restores like to a whole nother level and expectation that you, you know, you were dreaming for what you were hoping for and you thought it was lost with the last situation. No, 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 come here. Do you not know my God? <laughs> come here. Do you, do you not know him? Because he restores, baby, he restores. So yes, it's definitely a balancing act and just being intentional. <sighs> now we can get into the engagement, y'all. Do y'all see this? I know I posted it on, um, I know I posted the ring on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, my YouTube tab community. So make sure y'all pay attention to that. Um, if you're not following me on all social media platforms, go ahead and follow your girl. I will leave my handles down below. So y'all, me and babe are officially, officially, officially uh, engaged. Wow, it is, y'all, yeah, first of all, I've never been engaged before, ever. Bailey's father asked me to marry him, like on a Tuesday, we got married like a week later. There was like no engagement, there was no, hell, when he asked, there was no ring, okay? I'ma just keep it 100 with y'all, there was no ring. We were sitting in the car and he was like, hey, you wanna get married? Cool, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so this was completely different. I feel like baby kind of needs to be here for us to like go into the full on, a full on of what took place and what happened. So in the essence of us getting to this point, but someone did ask a question. So how did babe pop the question. We had been planning this weekend, like a staycation. I was finishing school, stressed out, you know, mom stressed out. And we just wanted to do like a staycation. We knew like we couldn't go very far, but hey. So he had already made reservations at Perry's Steakhouse at the Domain. And he already made reservations at the room, um, at the Domain. What's that hotel called? The Westin. Yes, he already made reservations for us. Yes, he made the reservations 
just let's be clear he did that so and you know he already kind of you know well we asked his mom to keep bailey for that particular weekend i thought i'm not gonna lie i already knew he had the ring but i thought that he was going to ask at the restaurant like it's perry's like perry steakhouse like is as expensive as heck y'all um i thought he was gonna ask there like it's the perfect place and he kind of knew so like he read my text messages between me and my church mom because we were talking about it and he was like okay i switched plan up so he had been planning this for weeks like unknowingly to my knowledge and he actually got him and his homeboy together and I guess he ordered this kit off of Amazon. I'm not really sure. Like, like I said, we're gonna have to like sit down and talk about it together in another video. But as of right now, he got this like Amazon kit. I think he might have seen it on Pinterest. I don't know. And it's like blown up blooms, and he put roses all on the floor, and it said, "Will you marry me?" Um, and. <laughs> It's funny because like we were literally in the living room. I had just picked up Bailey. I'm not thinking of, none of it. We had just did um, our day date, got brunch. I came home because I had I wanted picked up Bailey by myself, and I had got a box, an Amazon box, and I didn't know what was in it, y'all. Because I don't think I just be ordering stuff. No, that's not what happened. What happened was I won something and it came in through Amazon and had my name on it but I completely forgot about it and he had the box and he like starts walking upstairs and I'm like bro like <laughs> let me see the box and y'all I know babe does not act like it when he be on the camera and stuff but he is so playful like we just be in here like playing around like he is extremely playful and it's hilarious but he took it upstairs and I was like, oh, okay, so you want me to chase you? Like, okay, well, I guess we're doing this today. <laughs> and he goes upstairs and he pretends like he opened in a box, like, and he opens the door to the bedroom. And yeah, it was right there. It's like, will you marry me? And then he grabs the ring, he gets down on one knee. And he's like, will you marry me, Taryn? And I'm like, duh, like, <laughs> what you mean? Like, yes, of course. <laughs> so. And that's how he popped the question. Um, I'm definitely gonna be inserting some pictures so y'all can see. So you guys, I know y'all have seen Babe on the channel a lot. Um, no, this is not turning into a couples channel. No, I'm not gonna be changing the name. What is actually going to be happening is we have created a completely new channel that's gonna incorporate me, him, and Bailey. Mostly just me and him, but you know, all of us together. It's called All About the Joneses. So make sure you go ahead into the description box and go ahead and subscribe. We will be uploading pranks, challenges, it'll be family vlogs, um, all stuff like that. This channel will remain my channel where I talk about, you know, motherhood, where I talk about school, where I talk about, um, you know, becoming a wife, and you know the whole wedding planning process because we do plan to have a wedding so more of like personal things with me will remain on this channel everything else family oriented um will be on all about the joneses so make sure you go ahead subscribe to that and hopefully we'll be dropping a new video soon um well a video soon so you guys stay blessed, you guys stay encouraged, and stay in the word. Bye. Yeah, it's just your.